Welcome to another fusion training session. And this one is for conductors. Now conductors have a very, very important role in rehearsals and concerts. You have to show the choir when and what they should sing, but you also have to give their choir the energy and the life that they need to put on a good show. People forget what a concert sounded like, but the photos and videos will be on Facebook forever. And so we want to have happy, energetic choirs during our concerts, and that is your job. So the first important role of the conductor is to show the rhythm of the song. Now most songs that we do in Fusion have four beats. One, two, three, four. And so the way you would conduct that is you go down on the one, across on the two, out on the three, and up on the four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's very important that people can see what you're conducting. So what you shouldn't be doing is conducting like a mouse. Conduct with your whole body. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Give it again. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now let's try that with some songs. So this is three, four. One, two, three, four. Sometimes it's hard to know where the one is. It's usually where a, a kick drum is, the main drum beats. So you'll hear it now. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, and another song. One, two, three, four. This is a gospel song. They have difficult rhythms, but it's still the same rule. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You can try this with me if you want. And another song. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two. And another song. One, two, three, four. 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 One more. Two, three, four. One. And this one's slower. So with this one, we can wave our arms a little bit more flowy. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I think we'll try one more song. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So remember, on one, you bring your hands down very firmly. One, two, three, four. One, two. The one has to be very obvious. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. I think we can stop there and move on. Okay, now let's move on to bringing in the choir and taking them off. It's really important that you clearly show when the choir should sing and that they understand now is the time. It's also good to bring the choir off very clearly too so that they'll all stop together with one voice. Before you want the choir to sing, you should give them some warning. So one, two, three, four, singing, and we're stopping. So always count three or four beats before you bring them in so that they can see now it's time to sing. One, two, three, four, singing and stopping. Usually when I'm conducting, I have my hands out and up when I want the choir to sing and I close them when I want the choir to stop. And I do a very strong movement so that they know now is the time. If I just stop them like this, people would stop at different times. But with a clear movement, they stop at once, all together. It's a good choir sound. So now let's try that with some music. I'm going to use a song by Linkin Park where the choir sings three notes during the verse. So 
I'm gonna keep the beat, three, four, one, and it's good to dance a little bit. You want the choir to dance, and if you dance, they will. If you stand still, they will stand still. Two, three, four. And now the choir's gonna come in soon. So I'm gonna show them. One, two, three, four, there. One, go. So I, I was doing this before I brought the choir in, but when it was time to bring the choir in, my moves were much bigger to get their attention. My hands were up and out, and I was singing along as well. It's important to show them, even with your mouth, that they should be singing. There, where, knowing. Now when you're only wanting the choir to sing one tone, it's relatively easy to bring them on and take them off again but what to do during a chorus, when there's lots of words to do? Well, the answer is that you have to find your own conducting style. Some people prefer to bring in the choir and then just keep the beat going. Other people decide to show the rhythm of the words. Da, ba, 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 ba. It's entirely up to you how you conduct. The important thing is the choir must understand what it is that they should do, and you have to show them that they should be singing with enthusiasm and energy. So now we'll continue with the song by Linkin Park and conduct the chorus. Now, in this song, the chorus comes right after the third tone that the choir sang, so I have to show them right away, we're singing. Let's have a look at what that looks like. So I'm gonna be moving again. I want the choir to sing and dance, so I have to be doing that. I have to look alive with my face. I can be keeping the beat. But very soon the choir is gonna come in, so I need to show them. We're gonna come in, ready? One, two, three, four. There, when, low. And we're coming in right away. We're building it up. To bring it back down. And I'm showing with my mouth the words. To burn it to the ground and off. And I'm going to keep dancing because I want the choir to keep dancing too. Okay, good. Now, sometimes in a song, the different parts have different rhythms. So, for example, in the song by Linkin Park we're using, the sopranos and altos sing one part and the boys come in separately with a different rhythm. So it's really important to show these people and now you. These people and now you. Let's see what that looks like. So, again, I'm gonna keep the beat. Gonna have a bit of a dance here. I'm smiling, my eyes are open, I'm looking engaged. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. And the choir is gonna come in very soon, ready? So, one, two, three, there, when, blow. And remember, the chorus is right away. And now the boys go, up. girls, break it down, boys, down, girls, we're building it, boys, up, girls, break it, girls, one plate, to burn it through the ground. And we're going to keep moving because we want the choir to move after the song. Good. When you're conducting, it's also very important to show the choir when they should sing louder and softer. If I want the choir to be loud and energetic, my conducting styles should be large. If I want them to be quieter and softer, my conducting style should be smaller. But I want them to go louder, louder and quieter. quieter. It's also good to have some signals to show what part of the song is coming up. So for example, when you want the choir to start singing, to get their attention, you could put your hand in the air. If it's time for the chorus, you could have a signal like this, 
or this, whatever you want, but use the same signal to show the choir now we're singing the chorus. For the bridge or the guitar parts, I usually show this. And towards the end of the song, this. And finally, if we're repeating something, for example, if we're singing the chorus twice, I show this. So let's have a look what that looks like. So now I want the choir to be moving. If I wanted the choir to stand still, I could just do this. And the choir hopefully would stand still, but I want them to move. So I'm going to move around a little bit. Two, three, four. Now it's time for the choir to sing. Ready? We're going to sing. Two, three, four. There. Way. And now we're going to sing the chorus. We're building it up. And the boys up to bring it back down. We're building it up to bring it down. Plantic to move it through the ground. And I'm going to keep dancing because I want the choir to dance. Now in the second chorus, the choir come in slightly different from the first time. So I'm going to have to show them with a hand signal what they have to do. So moving again. Lick them. Right, we're going to come in again. Ready? One, two, three, four. There. One. And this time we're repeating those again. So I'm going to show it again. Uh -huh. There. Waiting, blow, and now it's time for the very chorus. We're building it up. Oh, the panic bang. So I'm using my whole body when I conduct, and when I want the choir to sing, my hands are open and up. It's through the ground. Good. So remember, the role of the conductor is to show the choir when they should sing, but also how they should sing, with energy and life, or more quiet and subdued. The choir will do what you show them to do. So it's really, really important that you understand what you want to have in the song, and you show that to the choir. Also, if you have actions, it's also going to be your job to make sure the choir know when they should do those actions and when they should stand still. To finish up, we'll show you a video of that song that one of our choirs performed. Have a look at what the conductor does and how the choir reacts to her. It's a great example of someone who has learned how to conduct well. But you should know that she only started to conduct two months before that song was recorded. So it doesn't take long to become a great conductor you too can become a great conductor. Have fun!